I okay. made something for you, actually. You, made <laughs> you can't wait to see this. And you have to eat it, because I've eaten all of your cooking. Tripe and chips, you said you loved it. No way. Go okay. on. I must, I've got to apologise, because I actually hate tripe. <laughs> I'm sorry. The <laughs> little bird told me that you hated tripe. That will teach you to lie I'm going to get television. you, Cherise, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, watch out, Cherise. Back to you, Tony. Ramsbottom conjure up for you. Rolling hills, the old cotton mills, the River Irwell, or perhaps the East Lanx railway line. Or does it make you think of a two-ton bronze jug smack bang in the middle of the town? Because that's what will be here on this spot next May, and it's causing a storm. I am not an architect. I am not um, an artist. I simply wouldn't like to comment. I feel that it should be something which speaks directly to the people of their past. So that if you stand and look at it, you say, yes, that, that's Ramsbottom. That's what represents this town of Ramsbottom. The Tilted Vase, as it's called, has been commissioned by Bury Council and paid for with lottery money. When it arrives, it'll be three metres long. And about four metres high. But one thing's for sure, the people of Ramsbottom won't be able to miss it. It'll form part of the Irwell Valley Sculpture Trail, which is the largest public art scheme in Britain and follows a 30-mile path from Salford Quays to the Pennine Moors. But it's going down well with local traders. They seem to like it. I think it's most attractive. Anything is nicer than what was there before, being fair, because it was just a dirty area that the children played on. So now, yes, it's definitely going to be an improvement. I don't look at it as a sculpture about Ramsbottom. I look at it as a sculpture for Ramsbottom. Um, that's almost like saying it's, uh, it, you've not got a flat shawl and clogs on, so you don't belong in Ramsbottom. And some enterprising traders are already beginning to catch on it but not everyone is quite so keen on the new centerpiece of Ramy. It's not in keeping with the town. I don't know why they've picked a Grecian urn at all I've, with, with no uh, Greek things about anyway beside it. It should have been something to do with the mills I think. I feel that I've made it the right size for the, for the space and uh, I'm very proud of what I've done so far and I hope other people can sort of tune into that and take that on board. Carol Lowe, Northwest Tonight.